G'day guys and welcome to Primal Waters. Today um, on Facebook I was going through one of the Great White Sharks Facebook pages and I saw this post uh, with this uh, news article from New South Wales which is a state in Australia. If you're unaware, in the last three months there have been three fatal incidents in New South Wales uh, with, sh- with sharks and out of the the three, two of those have been great white, great white sharks responsible for those incidents. Um, this news article here, when I first read it, actually made me quite mad. I thought I, I'll need to do this video just to let you guys aware of it. Now, we'll, uh, uh, we'll have a read of it. Now, I don't think it's all surfers are calling for this. Uh, I think it's just mainly a small group because I think most people know who use the ocean here in Australia, especially in areas where great white sharks are. They know the risk they're taking when they, they enter the water as well. So, But what has happened in the last three, mu- uh, three months is very sad and I really feel sorry for the families. Uh, but I think um, – and it's not, not the, it's not the families who are calling for this. So, But uh, I think shark culling great whites isn't the answer. So – uh, lift shark ban surfers. Surfers have pleaded for the great white sharks to be removed from the endangered and protected list to stop f- uh, fatal on New South Wales north coast. Two surfers have been by sharks within weeks of each other uh, on June 7th and then one on the weekend on Saturday. The chilling similarities, if I can say that, to, uh, to the spate of north coast shark in 2014 and 2015 has locals pleading for more drastic actions to be taken in addition to drum lines and drones. So 2014, 2015 in the same areas with uh, there were other incidents as well. Uh, New South Wales used the drum lines and drones to be to protect the beaches. They also use uh, shark nets, but we all know shark nets don't work. Uh, all they seem to do is uh, entangle uh, whales when they migrate um, uh, up north on the east coast of Australia. So uh, Surfer David said to put both locals and tourists at ease, great whites must be taken off the protected endangered species list and the fishing ban to be lifted. Right, so <clears throat> I 110% disagree with that. Uh, not. Um, they tried to do this in Western Australia a few years back after a few incidents. A lot of people uh, protested about that and they stopped the local government from uh, culling great white sharks. Uh, this will happen again in in the New South Wales states. And uh, if it doesn't, I will make sure I use my platform to get the word out there to stop this because um, culling great white sharks, taking them off the endangered list, uh, removing the fishing ban will absolutely mean it will be absolutely disaster for great whites. Their numbers are not large. Um, it just it takes it takes great white sharks a long time to uh, to mature. Uh, great white sharks don't really have too many pups, and uh, it'll be absolute disaster for the species. Um, they would become extinct. That's what would happen. They would become extinct uh, in Australia. So for for them to be calling this, I I disagree, um, and I'm pretty sure um, most surfers uh, probably will disagree with this as well. I don't know any, but I'm I'm pretty sure from uh, articles I've read in the past and that they got these guys know they take a risk when they enter the water. These sharks are there when they the surfers don't know. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I just I have to disagree with this. And if they try and pull this, and then you know we'll, we're going to have to um, say something about that. Like I said, they tried to do this in Western Australia, and a lot of people weren't happy with that. And that'll be the case this time as well. Now, what happened is tragic. I know um, it's sad, and uh, you know I think it's just more education, um, just making people more aware about. Areas they surf or swim, um, particularly in certain times of year as well. I can imagine that uh, the great white sharks that are responsible in the last few months are probably um, sub adults or juvenile great whites. They seem to, this time of year, which is winter, they move up to the north coast 
of New South Wales where the water is a, a bit warmer um, and uh, unfortunately these things happen um, as well. So, But f- to call to take them off the list and... Um, and remove the fishing ban on them. That'll that'll uh, be a disaster for great white sharks. And uh, I'm not too sure where this article is from or what paper. Uh, but if I start seeing it on the uh, mainstream media and stuff on the news, uh, calls to lift the ban, and then I'll, I'll obviously do more videos about this. But uh, um, yeah, no, against it 100%. Uh, lifting the ban or and a call to cull the great white. No, that's a bad mistake, a bad mistake. So uh, I just wanted to bring this up uh, for you guys. Most of you, or pretty much most of you guys who watch my channel love great whites. And uh, this will be just a wrong decision if this was actually made. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for uh, dropping in. Drop a comment down below, hit that like button, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.